I am Chandrabhushan. Uh, I am the Deputy Director General of Center for Science and Environment. Center for Science and Environment is one of India's uh, leading public interest research institution. And we work on wide array of environmental and developmental issues, and including renewable energy. But our entry in renewable energy is uh, from the perspective of energy access. So we, we believe very strongly that renewable energy is green, renewable energy is clean, but renewable energy is also a way through which India's energy poverty and India's energy security problem can be solved. So for us, renewable energy uh, comes not only uh, from environmental perspective, but also from social inclusion perspective. That's, where, uh, that's why and we work in renewable energy. A country like India has about 350 million people who is still have not seen electricity. So energy poverty is a major issue in India. Now, energy poverty means also developmental poverty. So if you don't have energy, you don't get educated. If you don't have electricity, you don't get good hospitals. If you don't have electricity, you know, you, the modern amenities of life uh, doesn't, you, you're not, you don't have access to those amenities. So for India to develop uh, modern energy, including electricity is the most important thing. And because we, 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 we work in developmental field, uh, our entry in renewable energy was through the angle of providing electricity to energy poor. And that's how we got into a renewable energy. A renewable energy is different uh, than, say, the conventional fossil fuel economy in a, in a way that it is a decentralized energy. It is a decentralized source of energy. And we can take renewable energy to places where, where grids will never reach. The electricity grid will never reach. And those are the area where the poorest of the poor in India live, where grid has not reached, but we can still take renewable energy there. Renewable energy already has very high level of social acceptance in a country like India. Now, we have to make sure that the social acceptance level remain very high. Now, how do we do it? Uh, we do it by getting better environmental and social practices in renewable energy. We are finding uh, in India that uh, some of uh, the renewable energy projects are not following uh, the best practices. Uh, for example, they're coming in ecologically sensitive areas where they should not come. Uh, India doesn't have very good environmental norms for renewable energy, uh, which includes uh, wind, installation of wind, for example, even a very large wind project in ecologically sensitive areas don't have to go through environmental impact assessment. So the, the, our position is, and, and the areas that we work in, is that renewable energy already has very high social acceptance. We have to make sure that that level of social acceptance doesn't go down because of bad practices. So we are working towards uh, uh, getting good norms good environmental and social norms, making sure that there is public participation in development of renewable energy, and most importantly, making sure that people benefit out of renewable energy. So these are the component. We believe if we address properly, the social acceptance of renewable energy will improve.